Today I'm going to be showing off how we can use Cookbook and Atlas to deploy Uniswap clone and create our own custom token pool in just a few minutes. So let's get started. We're going to start off on Cookbook. Cookbook lets us browse contracts and protocols so we can easily get started on any project that we want. So I'm going to actually look for Uniswap V3 factory right now. This factory contract is going to let us deploy Uniswap and let us create token pools. That has everything that we need. What's really cool is that we can open up these contracts directly in Atlas in just a click. We can name our project wherever we want. And now we just have to click create. Here we have all the code for Uniswap. Uh, we can actually deploy this to a live blockchain in just a click. All I have to do is switch to MetaMask and I'm going to deploy this to Gorley Testnet. So our contract just got deployed. We can see here there's a bunch of state variables and we can check out all the functions available on this. And right here is the function we actually care about most, this create pool function. This allows us to create a new uh, token pool. What we're gonna need though is two token addresses, but rather than find these on the, the test net, let's actually create these tokens right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and create new file, call one Pepe token, and let's just ask Atlas to write me an ERC20. That was pretty easy, so we can use this contract. And let's run this to see if it works. There we have Pepe token, and we just deployed it. Um, and now we can use the same contract code to deploy another token. Great, so we have both of these tokens deployed. Let's copy the addresses and we can create a pool now. So the last thing we need to specify for creating a pool is the actual fee for the pool. Uh, if we look at the create pool function, we can see that we need to make sure that the fee amount uh, is, is in this fee amount tick spacing mapping, uh, which is automatically set in the constructor uh, to with, with this 500 value. We can set custom values we want, but let's just use 500 for now. And we just created the pool. Let's check out the block explorer to see what happened. So we can see right here that we called this create pool function, which we just did. Uh, we can see the alt contract code that we deployed, these 33 contracts. So it's pretty cool what you can do with Atlas and Cookbook.